Welcome back everyone to another Dragon Ball Raging Blast on PlayStation 3 and today we're going to take on Stop Him, Cell's perfect form. So yes, Cell finally achieved his perfect form, but only Android 17 who was able to absorb him. But right now we have Tien, let's go to Stop Cell. But right now let's get started with this story recap. Cell absorbs Android 17 and transforms into his second form. Now he's on the attack against 18 in hopes of reaching his perfect form. In order to give 18 a chance to escape, Tien stops Cell with his own body. So yeah, we're gonna start off with Cell versus Tien. Or Tien versus Cell. So this is a pretty interesting battle as well because he Tien is a pretty cool t character, I will say, but he's going to try his best so that Android 18 does not get absorbed by Cell to reach his perfect form. Forgive me, Chatsu. I feel like the end is near. Alrighty then, that was pretty quick. Now let's get started. And I'm not sure how better his second form is for Cell. I'm not sure if it's faster or just a little... Now, I wouldn't say or well, probably the same recovery speed as his base form, but we'll see right now. We'll see. Oh, okay. Good thing I ran away from that. But he looks like he got pretty good so far in his second form. Try beam. And we're, oh boy, he almost hit us with, oh, here we go again. But surprisingly, we only have, well, I'm not sure how much Cell had. It looks like he had pretty little health to start off with. But not bad, not bad with Cell so far with the second floor. So we're going to go full power. Oh, here comes the clash attack. Very nice. Bring him up. Oh, he hit us. There we go. Gonna do it again. Don't on Ray. Oh, come on. It could have have connected. Come on, game. I'm not sure he's doing his signature move or something. Uh, so what are you even doing? Oh, here we go again. We know what we need to do for Cell. And we're going to try our best to go full power again. Oh boy. Damn, his... His charge attacks are kind of like a little bit slow, which is not bad, but... Could be a pretty annoying. But let's do it. Neil, try beam. We gotta defeat yourself. There we go. We are done. <laughs> Vien, that was some nerve for you to get in my way. I'm sure you die anyway, but let me speed up the process. Goku! And there we go, Goku saves the day for Tien. And there we go, we got Secret Battle 20. Bow before me, Cell. I am Super Vegeta. So yeah, he did his Neo Tri Beam and he was able to push back Cell a little bit. But of course, as always, no matter what, Cell, wa Cell was able to get back up no matter what. So right now we're going to check out the missions. Hopefully they're not too difficult or annoying. But let's check them out right now. So battle underwater for a long time. Oh, here we go again with those other type of attacks. And land three super attacks in a row. In a row. That's pretty interesting. Okay, probably we have to use 
some super attack that Tian has in order to land three of them at the same time. So I will be right back. Okay, right now I'm going to be unsure on how you should land three super attacks in a row. Like, it really doesn't make sense unless it has to be the ultimate attack. Because that's my only guess right now. The ultimate attack does land three super attacks, which is the tri-beam. But it's an ultimate attack, so I'm not sure. So right now, I tried to do three Neo tri-beams, like regular super attack tri-beams. And I'm not sure that's going to count. And it did. Okay. So if you saw from the footage, like I said, I just did normal super attacks and it landed three times or just, just, I guess landed three times in a row. Like I said, Neo tri beam or tri beam, tri beam, tri beam, and you should be fine. Or maybe don't unray, don't unray, don't unray, and you should be okay. But it says right there, just landed three super attacks in a row. And right now we need to battle in the water for a long time. So I'll be right back again. Okay, I think we are done. We battle in the water for a good amount of time at least. So right now we're going to check how much was the time limit. But again, I think I will say around maybe two and a half or three minutes should be the max for battling anything for a long period of time. But we're going to see right now. Hopefully it gives it to us. Because of course there are times where Sil just fling us all the way to the air or does a charge attack to put us in the air and everything that's fine but there we go almost three minutes and 50 seconds that is fine and there we go battle underwater for a long time and that's pretty much it i mean i think i'm not sure if it counts again for the opponent as well or just by yourself but i would just recommend you know just get both of you just try to be wherever in the air on the water on the ground whatever just stay put do not defeat the opponent as quick as possible just let him do you some damage and then once you're at red health bar then you could like defeat him as fast as you can but 
just be careful because once if they land their ultimate attack, if you only have one health bar left, you are gonna lose. But we are done. We got all everything on hard difficulty, a battle underwater, and land three super attacks in a row. But of course, until next time, guys, we are going to take on Bow Before Me, Cell. I am Super Vegeta. So thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Dragon Ball Raging Blast on PlayStation 3. As well, share with, but as well, share it with some of your friends and they want to learn how to do all the missions in the game. Share it with them. Better than that, keep on playing and game for life, guys. See you later.